Welcome back to some more Supermarket Simulator. Anyway, let's play. So, stock taking is done. What is box? It's heal. I guess there's no place on the shelf for it. There is. There's more than enough. But I guess they want... Oh, never mind. Heal it. We finally have four workers. We got it in the end of the previous video. Um, so that's cool. We we had to upgrade our storage for it. I think if we placed our boxes correctly, we most probably could have uh, uh, pulled it off. But it's whatever. Uh, upgrade is needed in any way in the future. So yeah, stock taking is now fairly simple. We can do a lot here as well with these racks. Looks like some of them are the wrong way around or something, because this one doesn't have a, a line at the back. Or maybe it's just so against the wall that you don't see that line. It's not a big deal. They're all the same size. That's what she said. I mean... <laughs> It's a joke, dude. It's a bad one, but it's it's one, okay? It's an 800 subscriber joke. You need some milk. But yeah, so far we're making a killing. We're making on average about $4,000 per day. Um, I don't think it's profit. I think it's just we make it, right? Then we have to restock, so... We need to check on our profit margin, like how much we make per day on average, to actually know. Uh, because right now, our storage is good enough to get maybe five or six licenses more. And obviously the game is going to become exponentially harder from that point onward. Stock taking will take longer. Um, the dude standing outside with the boxes in their hands will most probably be more of them. Uh, but we are going to have... You know, if there's items that do it often, we'll have a special rack for that as well. We'll be able to put that item on. Because also remember that there's going to be more clients buying more products at the end of the day. The higher level you go. So eventually I think one rack per item is not going to be good enough. Uh, but if that's the case, we must probably will double rack the item in a different location as well. Uh, like we're doing with potatoes. I mean, we have double potato double potato rack. We have double um, chicken rack. We have double uh, toilet paper rack. So if that's the case, we'll most probably double rack instead of like double stock, if that makes sense. But yeah, we'll see what we can do, obviously. So far, we have a really good system set up. And I think with this, we can actually go really far or even, you know, get finish, uh, finish the game. Because that's my goal right now. I want to finish this game. I want to see the end game content. How big your store would be by then. And just remember, I'm not I'm not building this place to to look fancy and it, for me it's just about getting a big store. I mean, after that you can go all fancy you want. But for me it's about being productive. Because these bots that's buying, they don't see looks, right? I 
And also, I think we're already in the top, like, 1% when it comes to people playing this game. Like, how far most people go. So, I, I honestly hope this is going to make a dent, uh, whether people start subscribing to the channel. Because I know it's not all about, like, you know, progress and stuff, but... I want to get more into simulation games, and I think this is a great game to start with. Uh, the next game I have my eye on to finish after this will be the card simulator, the card shop simulator. And it looks like also the, uh, so far at least, uh, at this very moment of recording the video, it looks like uh, the, what is that, what is it called, gas station simulator is also doing pretty good. So, by the way, in real time, my parents is almost landing in Australia. We have an app that tracks uh, airplanes. So my parents is almost in Australia right now. That is pretty cool. Flying for about 20 hours. Absolutely ridiculous, dude. Like how far away some of the countries are. And there's like 550 people on that plane. Okay, it's almost 9 p.m. Almost at $4,000. That's about $3,500 that, that we made today so far then. But like, like I said, this is not profit. This is just... We have to restock afterwards, right? So... It's not profit. But we'd like to get to that $10K. I think we average roughly about 4000 right now. Um, on how much we make per day. Uh, couldn't find french fries. Oh, that sucks. I'm pretty sure I did restock french fries, though. You tell me after 9pm? Well, it's not my fault. Well, technically it is, but... Okay, we'll buy double... Double French fries. So yeah, a lot of people might complain about the same product though. We want to keep our reputation as high as we can. So this is the last client scanning it now. Okay, we'll end the day here. Two people unhappy about French fries. So our income right now is almost five thousand dollars. Um where's profit? Doesn't really show, right? Okay, so let's just buy that. And then as we go through with stock taking. We'll see here which items is also more expensive. Uh, 
coffee, rice. Apple juice, M milk, couldn't buy the soda, let's buy now, soda, oh. shouldn't buy like that, takes longer, uh, chocolate, so bleach is down. Yeah, we don't have to buy bleach. Dude, we're out of toilet paper here also. So bleach is down. So bleach, uh, hand soap, oh, that, that's shampoo, sorry. And we'll buy double toilet paper. Maybe triple. Uh, yeah, let's buy let's buy a triple toilet paper. Um, okay. So we bought hand soap. I honestly can't remember if we bought shampoo. I think we did, but I'll just buy again. Um, cheese, mozzarella. Then we have. Cereal. How's our chicken looking? So chicken is empty, so we'll buy six of them. Maybe it's overkill, but we'll see. So chicken. We did buy the cereal, yeah. So now it's up there. Okay, so... Potatoes also looks empty, right? Yeah, so we'll buy triple potato. Triple potato. And we have red cheese. Well, that's coffee roast, actually. Pizza is still fine. Uh, we need to buy bottled water. What is that? Salmon. The salmon. Uh, scallop gratin is uh, more expensive. Sushi. Yeah, that's all. That's stock taking. So, scallop gratin. This is the sushis. This is it. It's four dot. Ooh, we'll say three five. Okay, stock taking is done. French fries is in. You see, we might need. We'll we'll see how it goes though. But well, we can open the store. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, um, in all honesty. If we run out of uh, potato chips again, we might want to get a separate fridge. Because I think we have one laying outside. Somewhere, there it is. We do have a separate fridge, or deep freeze, or freezer, or whatever. It will just have, everything that's in a freezer will have their own 
uh, full square. So then we'll be... Pizza and fries will be separated then. But we'll see how it goes, though. Still testing stuff out. So we're sitting on two and a half thousand after stock taking. So you could say that we made about two thousand dollars profit in one day. So four thousand dollars income, which two and a half of that or two two of that we'll say. Two thousand dollars of that is uh just pure income then. Or profit. So obviously the more people buy, the more experience we get. The more experience we get, the more people buy. It's a never-ending cycle. Hey, she only bought two cereals, dude. What a waste of a client for the day. Yeah, this probably will have to go up to about $15,000 before we take on the next license. Because it will be expansion, it will be, you know, buying the shelves, uh, freezers or fridges. Buying stock. So this lady that's walking out now also just bought one item. Not cool, dude. You know, to get a better view, we can maybe put freezers against the window instead of fridges. Because like we can't really see in from the from the last window from this angle, and I like to stand here because if something is overpriced, I want to fix it. If one of the dudes stands there with a box, I want to fix it. So I honestly feel like this is the best place to stand, uh, and I think most managers of a store they either stand at the tillers or they stand. They have their own little, you know, a room that they sit in that also has a view, overview of people. It's normally where the CCTV stuff is. Uh, or they stand on the outside uh, greeting people that walks out or in. It, it's, it's them that you can complain to about stuff. But I mean, dude, like, on, on average, if you go to the manager and be like, dude, you overpriced your milk. He's going to be like, meh. That's how we make profit. And if you can't afford it, then buy milk elsewhere, you know. But I think in this game, it's customer satisfaction is like a number one factor. So it's 5 p.m. And I think we should just take a minute and walk through our store. Running decently low on the red flower.
Sounds like Christmas over here. We'll see if the french fries problem rises again, then we will... We'll separate the fridges. But I think we'll move this... I'll, we'll swap these two around after this day is done. Then we'll try and get all deep freeze or all freezers on this side then. So we have a better view from the outside. Like if, if, you know, we're low on the cereal, I can't really see it from here. Old stock still looks good, except this tea, but there's still a lot on the shelf, so... It's like we're running low on chicken also. No, we're fine on chicken, dude. Toilet paper looks good also. Yeah. It's another well done day, I guess. No one's complaining. Yet. We'll just have to keep our eye on this french fries issue. Because I don't think we ever had a problem with pizza. And it's also hard to tell when you look in, like how much is there, right? But you need to read the numbers. But I think we're out of chicken. We still have a whole freezer that's full, so it doesn't matter. Double potatoes, double chocolate, triple tea. Thank you for your patronage, girl. Goodness. A hundred dollars. Thank you, sir. $150. Thank you, ma'am. Goodness. Okay, let's stock take and then we'll switch uh, the fridge and the freezer around. So we have to end the day first. 57 clients. I think it's our most yet. Uh, potato bag is up in price. That's a big chunk. 6.1. Should be good enough. Okay, first cereal. So we'll go all the way up again. So cereal, flour, uh, pasta, sugar. And then red flour all the way down there. Okay, we can buy olive oil as well. So, olive oil, uh, olive oil, uh, pasta or spaghetti. Uh, we can buy salt, uh, six pack milk, the six pack milk. Uh, then is it? It's candy, yeah, candy. Yogurt, cereal, chocolate, I think all of them are looking fine. No, no. Our max. Uh, we'll buy four yogurts. I think we're still fine, but I'll buy anyway. Uh, bleach. 
hand sanitizer again. Hand sanitizer. Okay, we need a lot of toilet paper. So we'll double buy toilet paper. Toilet paper. Uh, the red one. Yeah. Red, honey. And... What is that? Is it, that's chicken. Uh, yeah, we need a lot of chicken. So chicken. I did buy sugar, right? Ugh. I can't remember if I bought sugar. We'll just buy then, just for in case. Might have to solve that issue. So potato bags, we need a lot. So... We'll buy three. Three potato bags. Uh, French fries is... F oh, wait, wait, wait. French fries is up there. French fries is not fine. Double box. French fries. We bought potato bags already. Um, looks like it's gonna rack that. So, eggs, pasta, and sugar. Eggs, pasta, sugar. Uh, then we have tea. We have enough tea still. We'll buy, we'll buy another one. Uh, and then we have these two. Everything else looks fine. Yeah, everything else looks fine. So we'll just buy. And we're standing on three and a half thousand dollars now. So we'll open for the day. You see, the hopes is that they will solve all these boxes um, before the next day ends. Yo, we went up a whole level already. Bro, we're just flying through levels now. Not that it does anything, I think. The next product license is two thousand eight hundred dollars. But for to 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 do that, most probably we need to upgrade our sections first. So I think we need section five and six, which adds up to be about six, seven, seven thousand dollars in total. Uh, and then we need to buy the license, which is what's it, nine thousand eight hundred dollars in total. That's without buying the products, the, sh the, the shelf, or the freezers that's required for all of this. Um, so maybe about $12,000 is not even enough. Maybe we need like $14,000-ish. Maybe, I would say. So at $14,000 in the bank after restocking, uh, we'll get the next product license. Up, and then you, up until then, you don't want to upgrade your store. Uh, I forgot to switch the locations. Uh, you don't want to upgrade your store because you pay higher rent. So it's better to just sit and wait until you have the money. But yeah, we're doing a pretty good job, man. Honestly, I think we're going to have a phenomenal store. It's a weird game for me to actually cover on this channel, because I only wanted to play games that you can finish, and this is a never-ending game. But I mean, there is an end goal, store level 99, old products. It's a weird game to cover, but 
will be, definitely be one of the only people that finish the game. If you can even call it finish. And who knows, maybe people that enjoy this game will eventually start using this as a guide somewhat to play the game. Because our part two, which is technically part one, because I restarted the game, we started off this game way better than I think anyone else on YouTube will. We figured out a system from the get-go. I was the teller for literally three days and never again. <laughs> And like I said before, if they nerf uh, the self checkout again, I just buy another one and that will solve that issue. Like, it, the, the self checkout is too good. The only way they can nerf it is if you can only have like two or one of it. Then it will become a problem because I can't even afford a, a teller. Well, I can, it's just I can't place one because I need to serve people myself but it's gonna be in my opinion it's gonna be annoying if if he does that nerf you can only have one of each one regular one one mirrored one and then th what then then i have to have a teller that i have to open all the time And also, what makes the self checkout even more stronger, or m even more broken, it takes way less space than an actual tool does. And it's not even double the amount, dude. It's, it's just... So good. They can nerf it again by just increasing the price of it. Because it's worth every penny. And I went overkill to buy three. We'll never have a queue again. Um, it's just in the other game, uh, the, the, uh, the card shop simulator. Uh, there's someone speculating that you want people to despawn faster so that more clients can spawn that will come to your store. So essentially, he removed all tables uh, so that people can just come and buy an item and go out. So he only sells one product and he makes like $30,000 profit a day by doing it. Like 40, 40 to 60% of his clients is unhappy. But he's making a killing every day, dude. So, I don't know, that's something that I might consider doing also. We can do that for quite a while. Before we make, like, the biggest store in the game. Because that can, like, uh, skyrocket, right? Your, your income, your experience, your... Like, everything. Everything will just go up so fast. Making 30k a day. Do that for, like, a week or two. Like two whole two hour videos of just doing that uh, you'll be at endgame and I don't know if I will do that scum method though I don't know there is an achievement that you that I want to get um, that's making $30,000 profit a day. And you can only, well, I don't know if you can only do it with that method, but it's maybe like late, late end game that you can do it also without scumming like that. I don't know. But even in this game, reaching level 99, like how long will it really take? 
Dude, it's been 9 p.m. for a while now. It should be like 9.30 or 9.45. And people are still walking in. Goodness, that gave me a fright. I thought it was game over, man. Come on, people, make me reach. $190. So like I said before, once we reach level 38-ish, the average spending will be around $100. And I'm actually correct when I'm saying that, dude. So the higher level you get, the people just buy more products. There's $100, $110, and then a 90 $84. Eighty one. Oh, self issue. It's the first serial. Yeah, I can see why. There he goes. Okay, so now we can end the day. 56 clients. Our balance is now 8,000. Holy. Tea, cheese, sugar, and milk. Tea, tea, tea cheese, sugar, and milk. Key. Not this one. Now, which sugar is it? There's like three different sugars. It's not this one. It's not this one. It's not that cheese. What did it's this one yet? I don't know which sugar it is. I don't know of two sugars. I don't know we have three different ones. The shelf is completely busted, bro. That is rice. Well, whatever. We'll see on this machine anyway. So, stock taking time, Abri. So, oil, water, eggs, and milk. Peanut butter. Flour. Flour. Rice, rice, orange juice, orange juice, apple juice, milk, uh, white cheese, I think. Doesn't really matter, it's cake. And then cereal. Uh, we'll buy chocolate also, because why not? Uh, let's see, bleach. Bleach we're fine on. So cleaner. Uh, do 
this was a tablet. This was a tablet. We have hand sanitizer. That's fine. So how's our... Okay, we're completely out of toilet paper. So we'll buy a triple of those. Okay. Then we have white cheese we need. White cheese and eggs. Uh, white cheese. Eggs is the sugar that went up. White cheese, eggs, right? Yeah. Then cereal below it. Uh, it was max. Uh, cereal. Let's see how our chicken stock is. Uh, chicken is still good. Um, so we can buy butter again. Butter. Yeah, we're buying cereal. And whatever that is, that's eggs. That's eggs. Uh, we roast coffee. More pasta. Pasta. And we need, sh is it sushi large? I honestly think it's that. Yeah. And there we go. Stock take is done. And I think prices was updated as well because I did check out that sugar, which is... Oh, we didn't. So the sugar looks like a bag, is this one? Uh, 12.42, let's make it 12.50. And we're open. Look at this, bro, like, it goes so much faster now. You do need all four to get any progress done. So obviously, if any client touch any product, they will stop taking this and they'll start restocking. Which I think this would be higher priority, is to take this in first. But it's whatever. It's whatever. It works, okay. There's roughly two, maybe three more days, maybe even four, before we can buy the next license. Obviously, we can take out a $10,000 loan to do that, but I honestly think it's unnecessary. You don't want to increase the amount of spendage, unnecessary spendage you have per day. See, this game will be a lot of standing around. It's my kind of game, though. <laughs> it's like... When you play games like... I don't know, World of Warcraft, there's a lot of, like... Inputs you have to do, grinding... 
and you can go weeks without any progression but it's like you have to do physical work in order to you know get the gear this game is the opposite you put in the work and then you watch your income come you know what i'm saying you just sit here and wait Wait for the better days to come to you. Because like goblins say in World of Warcraft, time is money, friend. There's so many duplicates of the same character inside the shop. And also don't know when we're going to have our fourth teller. At this moment, it really doesn't matter. Make me money, bitches. I'm not rich yet. But to be honest, every time they buy here, it's for their own benefit. You know, shop getting bigger, selling better products. Or I wouldn't say better products, more products. More of the same at the end of the day. <laughs> Also, every license we buy from now on forward is seven products, not six. So, if that's not saying that it becomes exponentially harder, I don't know what will. Because eventually it might become eight products every time we buy. Yeah, it's five o'clock. We can maybe just take a minute to walk through. See if we're low on anything. We'll just switch on the light. Running fairly low on potatoes, but looks like we are fine. Oh, we're running low on pizza, dude. Pizza's up there. We need to buy pizza quickly. Buy pizza. Our potatoes are still okay, right? No, we're out of potatoes. So we'll buy potatoes. We need another, another light in here. We'll buy two lights. It's funny how it switches on. Like, look, if I open it up, it's on. Look at that. <laughs> I 
that one's fine right there. Still two clients that is not paying yet. Okay, one is now. Other one's in the queue. Why are you standing in a queue that's too open, dude? Idiot. Idiot. He isn't buying that many products. Fifty dollars. Okay, I think that's all. So we'll end the day. Fifty-eight clients, all of them are happy. Income is four thousand two hundred. Total profit is a thousand three. Apple juice went up in price. Okay. Should we stock take or should we wait? So don't buy pizza, don't buy potatoes. That's it. That's all that's outside. And well, the big eggs. So the rest will do stock taking. So bread, uh, flour, pasta, sugar. Uh, cheese, coffee, cheese, coffee, uh, red flour, we'll buy double olive oil, that's four in total buys, peanut butter is still okay, uh, we have pasta or spaghetti, uh, then We'll buy uh, the six pack milks. Six pack milk. Uh, cereal. Oh, we're maxed out. Um, cereal. Chocolate and yogurt still looks good. We need. Dude, we buy this every day. How's the shelf looking on it? We're good. We buy that every day, dude. The spray sanitizer. Okay, hand sanitizer. Or hand soap. We, uh... How are we looking on toilet paper? We're okay still. I'll still buy toilet paper, though. Toilet paper... We uh, take red and honey. Oh. Honey. Um, we can buy the four eggs and the sugar. Uh, how's butter looking? Still good. So we buy chicken. Yeah, one buy is enough. So chicken... Okay, the whole row there. Uh, yeah, the whole row. So we buy cheese, coffee, and bottled water. Um, we buy the sugar. The 12 eggs, I think we had one outside. Maybe that's brought in now. Uh, the whole bottom shelf. So that's... Okay, all of this. Dun, dun. Dun. And then sushi. And stock taking is done. Okay, loads of boxes. We'll open the store. We're not near 
like 12, 14k. I think we'll wait until 14k. We roughly make about $2,000 a day on average. That's what it seems. And I mean, we can take a $10,000 loan to upgrade the store, but I, I honestly think it's a waste. We shouldn't do that. I don't think we should do that. We got traffic here again. This guy refuses to drive, dude. There he goes. So it's maybe two, no, more. It would be about four or five days or so uh, before we can afford to upgrade the store. And that will also increase the rent we pay per month or per day, actually. That's a cool thing about this game. You pay rent automatically. I, I, I wish that function is in the card game, the card shop game. Uh, we also have an item that's down here. Is it gone now? Yeah. So sugar. Sugar and pizza can get removed there. I mean, I can't stock take while there's 7,000 boxes outside. So we'll have to wait. But having four workers on the size of store is actually overkill, but it works nice. You know, back then when I did YouTube full time, what I discovered was there's an easy market, right? There was a lot of people that wanted to watch Resident Evil, but there wasn't a lot of people streaming it. So I did a lot of research into uh, the channels and I only found two people that streamed Resident Evil on like every day. So I decided to like enter the market. The first stream I did of Resident Evil, we got 10 viewers. And that started my career. That literally took off my YouTube channel. Uh, my my first channel I, I did YouTube full time on. And uh, after a while, we averaged around 30 to 40 viewers. Um, and my first time ever reaching 100 viewers was when I played Dino Crisis for the first time which is another PS1 game. And to be honest, I, I see the same thing in this game. Honestly, there's not a lot of people covering the simulation games, at least at the higher end. Um, I mean, there's big channels that start it, but never play it, right? It's just, We can say the same thing about Resident Evil. There's big channels that cover it, but they don't play it on, on a regular basis. So it's definitely a niche market, in my opinion, on YouTube. And I feel like that's still what I have to find for this channel. We need to find that niche industry that can make the channel stand out a little bit, little bit more. 
so that when I do buy games like, I don't know, let's say Elden Ring or God of War or whatever good game comes out, a triple A game that's about $60, that efficiently that game can pay for itself. Because I, I feel like that is the hardest place to get first on a, on a YouTube channel, is to get games to to pay for themselves. Are we low on six-pack milk again? We did buy. Yeah, it looks like we're low on six-pack milk. Do we have any here? We don't. By the way, six pack milk is one of the most profitable uh, products we have. Seven and a half dollars. Bread is still very profitable as well. Two and a half dollars. Three dollar. Orange shoes not very profitable. Yo. Five and a half, dude. big they are. You're not making much. Oh, five dollars on on toilet paper. Hey, we're on 10k dollars. Maybe we're gonna reach this uh, this goal faster. What is this? Oh, it looks empty from the street. It's orange juice. We're still fine on that. Is everyone out now? Still two clients in. Three, actually. Okay, another day done. Let's just double check. Yeah, there's no one here. So we'll end the day. Products found expensive one. I didn't see where. That's my bad. 59 clients is the most we ever had so far. Oh my goodness. Sugar, cheese, cereal, flour. It's this one. Cereal. It's not that one. Uh, cheese. Now, which cheese would it be? This one, actually. Sugar. Sugar, right? Sugar. Okay, so I think that's all the price is correct. 
What a mess though we we have here. Eggs. So these are small eggs. Spray. So don't buy meat. We shouldn't buy honey also. Also not that, okay? Okay, so cereal, flour, uh, pasta, cheese, pasta, cheese. We can buy coffee as well. We're still fine on tea. So then milk, peanut butter. Uh, rice, orange juice. Uh, we'll buy salt also. Um, we'll buy candy. I honestly think six pack milk is going to be needed also. I'll just do it. There might be an issue. With racking on it, but it's okay. Hmm. Okay. Spray is looking good. How's bleach looking, actually? Uh, by double bleach. Hand soap. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Uh, white cheese. Red cheese. Uh... Tuna. So tuna. What is that? Sugar, right? Yeah, sugar. Or some sugar on me. Cereal. Are you cereal? Okay, we're out of chicken completely. So chicken, we bought the cereal, how's potatoes looking? Uh, potatoes are still fine, we'll buy one though. Um, fries is done. So fries, but there's fries here, but it doesn't matter. Fries, uh, red. And cheese. Eggs. And pasta. And sugar. Uh, tea is fine. Masoka. Salmon is good. Uh, sushi large. And veal. So that is stock taking for today. Goodness. We'll open up store again. Level 39. We're almost getting like a level per day now. That's how it feels like. Maybe day and a half, two days. I don't know. I mean, we had... The fourth worker since we started the video, so we had to be level 37. But every time you buy a product and every time um, the clients cash out or, you know, check out, uh, we, we gain experience.
The level at this moment doesn't matter. We're not level capped, we are money capped. Right? Our progress is not determined right now by the level. Again, unlike shop, uh, card shop manager or card shop simulator. That game, we are heavily reliant on the experience we get. We're more capped with XP or level than we are with money. And we haven't had our guys stand here like, Ooh, look at me, I have item man. For a while now, so it's good. Did I talk too fast? Yep, <laughs> I talked way too fast, dude. Uh. I saw it coming. So we'll just keep this one in our hand. I think it's this guy. There you go, buddy. Like I care. They can do it. It's somewhat there. But that was at least a quick fix. Again, a programming issue, but what do I know? It's not like I used to be a programmer. Uh, wink, wink. <laughs> I mean, I, I made a bot that plays a crypto game 24 7. Eight and a half thousand lines of code. All, all of it I learned on, on YouTube how to do. And I was considering selling it, but. Apparently it's against uh, the rules, so I don't want to make my... I don't want to reveal what I've done then. And it's thanks to that bot that I actually have time to play games, dude. Yeah, I'm still listening to music in the background. You guys just don't hear it. I feel like it's one of the things that this game is also missing. It's copyright free music. Which is like, dude, in today's day and age, it's so easy to get, honestly. You just go on YouTube, click on create. Uh, on the left side, it shows music. You click on that, you download, I don't know, 20 minutes worth of music added to the game. Boom, dusted. Like, Bob's your uncle. If you still play a game like this and you hear elevator music and it's copyright, I, I don't know, it's, it's just... You're asking people then not to use speakers or not to cover your game. There's so, so many less creators that's covering the new Final Fantasy game. On Twitch it was fine. But on YouTube you won't find many people that do it. Because you pay $60 for the game. And then you have zero. It doesn't matter how many views you get. It doesn't matter how many people tune into that that series. It doesn't matter. You You make nothing from covering it. So it's only downfall, right? Like you can make the best game ever, but if you don't abide the YouTube rules, I think honestly, like there will be so many less people covering your game. 
And to be quite honest, like, I can also maybe make a game like this. I don't think it's too much work. And I, I used to be a Unity developer. Like, I didn't make games. I made applications for cell phones. That was my job. But I'm pretty sure it's not that difficult. And it shouldn't take me too long as well. Maybe like four months to have a functionable game. Oh, what was that? Something about eggs. Eight rack eggs. This one? So we found our expensive product finally. I don't know, man. There's just, in my opinion, there is just too many games that gets released per day. Me making a game, I don't think that's gonna help. It's not gonna do anything. There's already so many games out there. Like, pretty much anything you can think of, there's a game for that. I mean, honestly, one of the first simulators ever to release is Goat Simulator, dude. Like, are you kidding me? Like what? Come on, clients, get out of my shop. I mean, I love it that you're in there, but it's 9 p.m., bitches. I think there's one more guy inside, right? No, don't see him. There he is, yeah. You better be at least getting a hundred dollars worth of stuff, dude. Thank you, 113. So that was the last guy. Let's end the day there. Products found expensive too. Well, I, I don't think it's two different products. I think it's just the same product. So salmon. That was just 10.7. Sounds like I'm talking about a radio station. Now my brood surprise my brood. So yeah, I wonder if I can buy now because like what is this? You know what? We'll give it a second. Let, let them sort it out. And just like that, they're done. <laughs> Easy peasy, dude. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you, like uploading it has its benefits. Okay, that's 10 products. Coffee. Yeah, we'll buy coffee also. Peanut butter. We don't need flour. Olive oil we're still okay on, but we can buy. Pasta we need. Oh, that's max. Uh, pasta. Sodas. Six-pack milk. Oh, 
<laughs> those boxes just fell over on the outside. Okay, we have... Is it orange? No, no. It's cheese. Oh, it's cakes. Both cakes. Refined on candy. We need cereal. Okay, how much bleach do we have? Enough. We have more than enough. We'll buy one more though, because we have two box uh, openings for spaces. Spray looks still fine. We need dishwasher. Um... Okay, how are we looking on toilet paper? We're good on toilet paper, that's for sure. Okay, we need shampoo. Shampoo, cheese, let's see. No. We can get butter again also. What is that then? Is it for... What is this? The red cheese. Okay, red cheese, eggs, we're good on. Uh, how about chicken? We can buy one more. One more chicken. We'll get butter also. Yeah. But, uh, cereal's fine, yeah? Cereal's fine. Okay, let's see. French fries. We're good. Potatoes. We'll buy another potato bag. So let's see. Cheese, we're fine. Below cheese, we need, which is eggs, I think. We might have eggs here. We do. But it doesn't matter. Eggs is not in our regular storage place, so... And that is all, dude. Uh, yeah, that's all. We can maybe buy tea. So stock taking done. And we can start the next day. Dude, it goes so fast now. In all honesty, it, it goes really fast now. It's 8.30 p.m. Or AM, sorry. So it's been 40 minutes now, not a single client. Potato. I picked up both, I'm sorry. So yeah, we should just buy have boxes like literally everywhere now. No boxes outside, bro. This is the first time in a long time this happens. And it's actually feeling good. I mean the only box outside now is our freezer. Because I bought one two extra. But we we're still like looking at that, you know. French fries pizza situation. But yeah, I also had to wait for like 10 minutes, right? Well, I pretty much just made my vape juice. Um, and then they were done. It's pretty good. Pretty good speed, I would say. You know, taking a break now every now and then, going to the bathroom or you know, looking after the animals and stuff, standing around for a second while we pause while they work. Having four definitely helps. It speeds up the process really nicely.
I'm not just shaking the vape juice bottle if my voice sounds weird. I'm sorry. Did we change the prices for the day? Because it feels like we did this way too fast. It looks like it. Maybe it was only that one item. Because I remember going there as well not too long ago. But I think the salmon price changed like three times already. Since we uh, got that license. So a lot of downtime in this game. That's if you want to play the game efficiently. I saw someone's part 8 and he makes like one hour videos. And I'm like, dude, you're on product license 3 now? Like, what are you doing? And he's like, taking out loans and paying it back. And I'm like, what the? Like, what are you doing, bro? Like... If you want to play this game efficiently, first of all, never take a loan. <laughs> because all profit should be enough to expand your shop. You should never take out a loan, ever. I took out a loan in, in part two just to buy a self-counter, like a self-checkout counter. And I paid off that loan in two days. You can pay it off early and, and avoid the interest. But you have to pay the full amount or it doesn't work. Bro, there is so much. They just, they just took out like all our six pack milk, dude. Two people. And we have none. Like literally two people just bought like four of them. Like look at this. That's crazy. Luckily, we saw that. And now that I think of it, we might want to get another rack for... for the milk, the six-pack milks. But we'll see, like, if it, if the problem, like, comes to light, we'll, we will then try and fix it. Because the other way to solve it is just to have an extra slot for where we can put the six-pack milk, like, right there. You know, then it will also not be a problem. Let me do that. Because then I'll look like, oh, six of milk is empty, and I'll buy. You know? It's either that, or we need to get another shelf full of it. So we just don't run out of it. And also this guy that I'm talking about that that's doing like part 8 and still only on product license 3. Um, 
he has the feature enabled where they can restock where they want. So he has zero organization. And it's the main reason why I restarted the game. Being organized is everything once you get this deep in the game. Like, if you have unorganized storage, you will get screwed every day. At the start, sure, it's a, a small indie market simulator, but after a while, it literally becomes storage simulator. Because that's all you do. Because it can't get automated, you have to do it. Okay, there's one more client in the shop. Cool. We can end the day here. I didn't see any other client. So we'll end the day here. 59 clients. Everyone happy. Let's see the prices. Bleach, apple juice, and pasta. Uh, I'm not working with sense. Uh, bleach, apple juice, and pasta. So we still need to get pasta. It wasn't that one. It's not this one. To be honest, I don't even know. That we have three. Oh wait, it's a blue, it's a blue one. This one? Oh my goodness. That's a huge drop, dude. Okay, boxes outside, zero. So everything that's inside, stock taking time, dude. We. So, bread, blue. Uh, what's that milk? So, milk. There it is, milk. A red flour and peanut butter. We need to move these boxes. It's blocking the view. Okay, then... Uh, rice. Rice. Apple juice. Is it apple juice? Yeah, apple, apple juice. Uh, apple juice and six pack milk. We need chocolate again. Chocolate. We need spray. So honey and then I think it's cereal. Cereal. So how is our chicken and potatoes and stuff looking? We can buy a chicken. Chicken, potatoes. We have so much bleach, bro. Uh, and toilet paper. We'll buy double toilet paper, though. Okay. French fries, we have enough. Is this French fries? No, that is. Okay, so french fries, we have enough. Potatoes, we just bought. I think. I'm not sure. 
Wobei Gen... Okay, so coffee, bottled water, uh, pasta, then we need sugar, sugar, everything else looks good. Everything else looks good. I think we did buy a lot of potatoes. This one. Another another one. We have three boxes that I know we bought a lot. Okay, we have three boxes. Okay. We can open for the day. Looks like the inside is stocked now, so it's now just going to the storage all the time. Got our first client, so they're gonna stop stuck in the storage. So it begins. Now they'll only walk into the store for non fort. And then storage, hopefully. We have like five clients already inside the store. Maybe after today we can upgrade. It might be like uh, a shot in the dark here because it's very expensive. I mean, we worked out it's $9,600 just to upgrade our store and buy the license. That is without racking freezers or fridges or whatever. So we need about 10 k just to do that alone. Now the shelves and freezers and stuff is not that expensive. But we don't know how much the products will cost as well. So we might want to get about 15k. So maybe it's not even today, today's video. It might be tomorrow's video then. Well, it should be 100% be tomorrow's video. Uh, but I'm going to try and push it to do it today in today's video. We have 20 minutes left. That's two days. Even if we do it before we end. Dude, there's two people walking inside each other. Nice. Goodness. Now, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do it after today. If not the next day. It's so roughly about 10 minutes per day, if I'm not mistaken. At the start of the game, it was about eight minutes. I did time it. But yeah, we have a lot of clients at 9 p.m. still, so it, it stretches the days out a bit. And I mean, one of the last things we'll do is paint the paint the place and also 
retile the floor or whatever. Because I saw people have like really nice screenshots of the game. Like how their shop looks like. And it looks completely different than this one. It's just, I think, every time you upgrade the place, you'll have to repaint the whole wall again. So your whole that you, the, the wall that you painted is unpainted again, if that makes sense. So it will cost you a lot of money over time. To redo the stuff. So, I mean, I think the floors will stick, obviously, you know. I don't even know what floors there could be in the game. Dude, this is a super busy shop now. Holy. People are just streaming in and out, dude. I think at level 40 we'll get like two extra clients a day on average. Especially if we are upgrading it as well. Yeah, this is... It's only now that this is actually becoming a supermarket, right? For now, it's still just a convenience store. It's... It's not really a supermarket yet. In my opinion, supermarkets sell, like, electronics as well. Which I don't know if it's gonna be in this game. Selling stuff like TVs and PS5s and stuff. Shouldn't be that hard to do. People are just grabbing that oil. The oil got restocked, so yeah, we're doing a good job, man. We have a good system. Also, it feels like we are speed running the game. Like, if you want to look at someone that is, like, you know, progressing the fastest, I think we are definitely up there compared to others. Like, in progression speed. Like, we started off very slow, right? I bought this half uh, checkout counter very early. That's $900. That could have been a full upgrade. But I, I think I didn't even upgrade once. Maybe we did upgrade once. And we bought the self checkout like within the first video, so dude. And all I did then was stock taking. And then I think I prioritized getting our first worker, which I think was incorrect. We shouldn't have done that. I could have stock taken myself for a while longer. Because the first worker is useless. Like you need at least two to have like a functional system. But I just wanted to get my storage correct from as early as possible. That guy is standing in queue, but there's two other tillers open. Maybe he just wanted to smell her hair. Hmm. Yum yum. So that's the last client after he pays. Boom. Another day bites the dust. Flower is down. Well, there's seven flowers, so which one? Yeah, 
this one. Uh, 5.6 would be good. Okay. We have like almost no boxes outside other than potatoes. Uh, we're going to restock right now. If we still have about 13k, I would, uh, we would, we would upgrade then. Otherwise, it's one more day. I felt like I missed something in the beginning. One of those three. Because one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And I went down to milk, uh, to, to, uh, to eggs. So we're missing something from the beginning. Oh, it was bread. Okay. I almost bought bread. It's likely I didn't. All right. Yo, dude, people bought a lot of salt. Wow. So orange juice. We'll buy apple juice as well. Uh, cake. It's just that one, right? Uh, candy. Okay, that's still good. A tablet. Tablet. Hand soap. Shampoo. How's toilet paper situation? It's good, but we can buy it too. Oops. Um, so, those two... Uh, we don't need honey. So, tuna. We do need tuna. We can buy the four pack also. And sugar. We have enough butter. So, french fries. Pizza still looks good. So cheese. Uh, coffee. I'm, I'm going to buy two of them, right? Because I saw they're pretty low. Nah, the one is good enough. So one coffee. Um, and then it's... Sushi and sushi. And salmon. So unfortunately, like I said, we're not sitting on 13k. So it's one more full day and then we'll be able to afford it. I don't want to get too close because like if we're missing a product because it's too expensive, it can become problematic. Stock taking done, we just reached level 40 as well, which means we could potentially get more clients in now. That would be good. So one full hour, not a single client in the shop yet. I feel like it's also something the card simulator game is doing a little bit better. People come to the shop and look if it's open, and then walk away if it's not. And that means you can see a, pi a pile of people actually in front, and then open it, and then you have like three clients in the first minute into your store. In this game you waste like almost two hours before your first client is there. I 
I mean, if you if you take the good from so many different games and make your own, I don't know what it might be. Because <laughs> you don't want to make another supermarket simulator, right? You don't want to make another card simulator. Or what, what can it be then? If it's still products. Because you want the good from both games. And, you know, you add that to you, to your final product. In all honesty, I feel like that's the best way to make games these days. Uh, you take the best features from multiple different games. And just make your own. Like a convenience store with electronics. I don't know. Makes me think of Zoan, you know, where he worked in that movie. Electronic store. There you go. There's a game for you. Take the good from this game and the card simulator. All the good I talked about. And make your electronic store simulator. And some products will take two people from the storage to move. Like you know, dishwashers and fridges. I don't know. Dude, we have so many clients in here. Oh my goodness. Soon three checkouts is not going to be enough. I can see that happen. Okay, that guy only bought like three items. <laughs> that guy only bought one. Five dollars. Thank you for your waste of a client. Dude, he bought three chicken. Oh my goodness. The worry is on it instantly. No, that's not the right one. I think there it goes from the back. It's coming to the front now. Put those chicken in, dude. There you go. He throws away the box. That's perfect. We can buy more chicken. I mean, if you if you can also, like I said before, I I think honestly a lot of people would do this. Like if you sell up something for like ten thousand dollars, even which is a good number, that will automate all your prices to be stock market value, right? Or competitive value. You would still make a profit on all your products, everything. I would honestly throw right now 10 grand for that. And that's not even a big feature, man. It's just convenient to not do it every day, right? Running around your shop looking for the products that's like up or down in price. Even if it's like a service, paying a hundred dollars for it, I, I would do it.
Another thing I would also like is a a stock taker worker. Even if that costs also like two hundred dollars a, a day or something, I would also do that. So that when you're on this machine here, like for example, you click on market. Uh, instead of showing, for example, you can look at the twelve eggs, right? It shows that there's twelve inside the box, like inside one box. But you can have next to it, you could say how much is on the shelf. And next to that, you can say how much is in storage or that's not on the shelf, but you have it. I would also pay for a service like that. Where you can where you can see exactly where you're standing, because then I don't even have to look around on the shelves, dude. I could just buy items based on those numbers. Dude, that girl just bought three cool drinks, dude. Goodness chill, lady. Get some milk. Okay, 9 p.m. Get out of my shop, bitches. Was it the last guy? Whoa. Ran low on some tablets, dude. Looks like it was the last guy, so we'll end the day here. Day 82, bro. Standing on 17,000. So, Veal Chop and T Black. Ooh, that's a big increase. $7 profit. And T Black. Uh, did it go down? I think it went down. It's not the other T, right? No. Okay. How many boxes outside? Quite a lot. What is it though? Small eggs. Okay, the blue one. Salt. Hand sanitizer. Whatever that is. Should be one of the new products. I think we can afford to upgrade, so let's do that. I'm just going to move these boxes out of the way. Uh, so that once the new ones spawn, we'll see where it is. Okay, so first things first. We need to upgrade the store twice. There's probably once will be enough. But I don't want to take the risk. So $7,000. Like half our money just goes to upgrade the store. And then license another 3k. So now we have the new products available to us. So scroll all the way down. So we stop at veal, right? So crab goes in the freezer. So crab goes in a freezer. So I honestly think that up there is the final you know that yeah crab so we have a freezer already it upgraded back here okay i was not expecting this 
but that's okay. We bought way too much now. Way too much space. But it's okay. If we can get another product license without upgrading anything, we'll be good. Uh, I think this one is actually fine. I don't think the freezer will fit. Well, it fits this way around. I don't think it will fit the other way around. So we got our new product here. I don't know if it's going to be that easy, though. We'll see. So I think it will be like that. So let's set the price. Yeah, Ten dollar would be good. So that's the first product done. Okay. Hot sauce, shelf, ice cream, freezer, and ketchup shelf. So we have ice cream. Uh, let me just see here. Ice cream is the middle product. It starts there. So over there, ice cream. So ice cream is, we'll say 5.05. .05. That's ice cream. Um, hot sauce uh, and ketchup needs a shelf. So let's buy a shelf. We didn't buy it yet, no. There are four just standing there. We're gonna stock take soon though. Then they'll start running around like crazy people again. So hot sauce and ketchup. So hot sauce. What? Why are you taking my box? Goodness. Stop it. Gonna be on this shelf anyway where the duplicates will be. Okay, hot sauce and <laughs> they look so similar, dude. Hot sauce is darker 
than ketchup. So the darker one. Darker one. And then ketchup is the lighter one. Okay. Uh, let's set our price. Not making a killing off this, that's for sure. Okay, we can uh, turn on them working again. I'm clicking, but it doesn't do anything. Huh? They lost... what? Whatever, I'll have to relog, I think. I'll get them to work. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, then we will... Oh, finally we're selling mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on a shelf. And then we need another freezer. So sell shelf and freezer. Okay. Products. Okay. Another shelf. And a freezer. Okay. Goodness, it's raining, dude. It's raining boxes everywhere, Mambri. You can do it. I mean, do we still want it there? can do this. It's in the way. <laughs> oh no. I think we'll start with the corner then. Okay, then we have... This. So where does this go? In the middle. And then mayonnaise. Boom. Job's done. Uh, eight. Eight point four. Uh, ten point two. All right. And we still have five thousand left. I think I'll do the stock taking in the next episode once I get these people to work. I'm a little scared to save here, to be honest, but whatever. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.